The season's gonna fly. We are officially through two weeks of the fantasy football season already, and you've gotta make some roster adjustments. I'm here to help you do that with some waiver wire choices. It's time for, hey, pick me up. First, how about Jared Goff finishing seventh at the quarterback spot last week after a four touchdown performance against the Commanders. He is still out there in a whopping 85% of leagues right now. Listen, listen, listen. If you went all in on Trey Lance, or if you went in on Dak Prescott, I like this option much more than Jimmy G as a replacement because you know you're going to get consistent volume through the air. Goff averaging 37 and a half dropbacks per game so far this year. While Jimmy isn't the most consistent fantasy option because the Niners do like to lean on that run game. Jared over everybody. Let's move on to Daryl Williams. Uh, he finished as an RB1 this week after James Conner went down with an ankle injury. 10 touches, 62 total yards, and a touchdown in the second half alone. That's bananas. It was a win over the Raiders. It does not sound like Conner's going to be getting a, uh, a significant amount of time on the bench. But if he is out this week, I do think it's worth snagging Williams, getting him in your lineup against the Rams. Garrett Wilson up next. Wow. He made it clear. Who's the numero uno targeto in New York? Oh, he is. He racked up eight catches for 102 yards and two touchdowns on 14 targets. Uh, unbelievable performance by him, which you love to see. You cannot beat the kind of volume. 11 targets per game over the first two weeks of the season. He's got upside as well. And he's still available in about half of leagues. So grab him or you will not get another chance. I'm telling you, grab him now. Noah Brown through two weeks. Uh, leading the Cowboys in catches and yards and touchdowns. Yep, ahead of one C.D. Lamb, Yowza. We were wondering who'd step up with Amari Cooper and Cedric Wilson gone. Mike Gallup still sidelined. Well, this is the answer. Noah Brown caught five for 91 in a touchdown. The Cowboys win over the Bengals. He's got some chemistry with Cooper Rush. Yes, the undefeated Cooper Rush, future franchise quarterback, Cooper Rush, future Hall of Famer. Yep, yellow jacket, gold jacket, got it, Cooper Rush. And I think we see his volume increase uh, seriously, though, even more now because we are hearing that Dalton Schultz is banged up. Last but not least, here we go. Logan Thomas, you guessed it, found the end zone last week. 10th highest scoring tight end so far this season, and he's still out there and available in over 80% of leagues. He was hurt and on the, on the sideline for much of the season last year. Let's not forget, though, the year before, or maybe I guess it's two years before, no, so, no, 2020, he was third among tight ends in PPR behind only Travis Kelsey and Darren Waller. So if you lost Schultz, or if you've been streaming tight ends, scoop up Logan Thomas against an Eagles defense that's been generous to opposing tight ends. Ugh, I love when you start getting into the point of the season where you can build up, oh, they're generous against tight ends. They let points in through the air and on the ground, and here we go. As we see, Jared Goff, Garrett Williams, Garrett Wilson's crushing it in New York, Noah Brown, and Logan Thomas.